Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? Joey Schirkenbach back here with another video for you guys. And today, guys, I know I'm doing this really late, but, guys, today it's Saturday night, and I'm going to be giving you my game picks for it, for the NFL for Week 6 coming up tomorrow and Monday Night Football. And if you guys didn't know, my birthday is on Monday. Of course, last year it was on Sunday, and this year it is on Monday. Um, Hopefully the Ravens win tomorrow, but we'll have to see, man. But let's jump right on into these picks. This has got to be a quicker video because I got some stuff going on. But anyways, first game, guys, we got the 3 and one Bears. At at there, excuse me. We got the three one bears at the three and two dolphins. This is gonna be a good game. Both teams are good, but at the same time, the dolphins got up to a three and zero start, but their past two games have been they've looked awful. It is in Miami, but I'm gonna go with the Bears in this one. 24 to 23. Next game, guys, we got the 2-3 Bills at the 2-3 Texans. Um, Texans have really bounced back. They, they got off to an 0-3 start. Then they won two in a row. They're up to 2-3. Deshaun Watson's looking pretty good. Um, well, in the past two games, he's looking a lot better. And I, it's also in Houston, so I'm going to gonna give this one to the Texans. I'm going to go Texans here 27-21. Next game, guys. We got the uh two and two uh two and two bucks, excuse me, at the one and four Falcons. So Falcons are falling apart right now, and something's gotta change. <laughs> Something has got to change for Atlanta. I mean, something is real is up and it's really affecting them. Bucks, mm, I don't think they're anything special this year. They they had two really good games, and Fitzmagic was like an MVP candidate. Then he absolutely failed, and now all of a sudden he's so bad again. So that was very temporary. Um, it's in Atlanta. Uh, I think the Falcons are going to pull this one out. I think it's going to be a sloppy one, but I think the Falcons are going to win this one 21-13. Next game, guys, we got the 1-4 Cardinals at the 2-2-1 two and two and one Vikings. Vikings... Are looking kind of iffy, not looking great. Cardinals have looked awful. It's in Minnesota. I guess I'll go with the Vikings here. Um, twenty-four to seventeen. Next game, guys, we have the three and two Chargers at the two and two and one Browns. Dude, the Browns are actually not bad this year. They are legit. I'm. Um, let me check. I don't know for sure. Okay, the Browns are tied with the Steelers. Like, they're actually not bad this year. It's, I mean, several teams are 2-3, and 1-4. and four. The Browns are nowhere close to the worst team, uh, record-wise. Playing-wise, maybe, but you know what? That, that it doesn't matter. All the only thing that matters is what happens on the scoreboard and, and what shows up, and that's the record. They're 2-2-1. Two and, two and one. They, that's not a bad record. It's not great, but it is not bad. But anyways, to talk about this game, uh, in Cleveland, I mean the Browns did not play well against the Ravens last weekend. But against the, but at the same time, the Ravens played absolutely horribly against the Browns. But that's kind of besides the point. Three two Chargers. I don't think the Chargers are a huge team this year, and I think the Browns are going to pull this one out. Baker Mayfield. Tw uh, I think he's going to be able to pull this one out. I'm going to go. Browns here, 23 to 20. And next game, guys, we got the 1 and 4 Colts at the 2 and 3 Jets. A lot of people are saying don't sleep on the Jets. They're going to get it going and they're going to be like a 8 and 8, 9 and 7 team or something like that this year. And then they're going to be really good next year. Um, I don't think they're going to be uh, 8 and 8 or 9 and 7. I think they're going to be more like a. 6 and 10, 7 and 9 at the best, maybe 5 and 11, but probably 6 and 10 and at best, 7 and 9. Colts are, on the, are nothing special right now. In New York, I guess I'll go with the Jets here. Um, 25 to 20. Next game, guys, we got the 3 and 1 Panthers at the 2 and 2 Redskins. Uh, in Washington, Panthers have looked good. Uh, they really have looked good. Uh, Cam Newton's doing well. Redskins have looked okay. Definitely not great, but they're 2-2. Two and two. I mean, it's not god-awful. In Washington, uh, I'm going to go with the Redskins in this one. 
Uh, 17 and 13, a sloppy slugfest game. Next game, guys, we got the two and three Seahawks at no, no, two and three Seahawks at the one and four Raiders. Not a game anybody exactly really cares about, but um. I both teams have not looked good whatsoever, which was expected. I guess I'll go with the Raiders. I mean, I don't know. I, I'll go with the Raiders here, twenty to thirteen. Not a fancy game. Not not a really fun game to watch whatsoever. Next game, guys. We got the two and two and one Steelers at the four one Bengals. Now, for once, just for once, I want the Steelers to win. I hate, I, I absolutely hate the Steelers, but I need them to win. I mean, if they win, that's going to bring them up to 3-2-1. and two and one, And then the Ravens, I suppose, do need to win, too. Because if the Steelers do win, that's going to be 3-2-1. and two and one. If the Ravens lose, they're going to be 3-3. Three and three, And then the Steelers are going to jump ahead of the Ravens in the AFC North. But the Bengals, it's in Cincinnati, and they have looked terrific. It's in Cincinnati. I gotta go with the Bengals here. But I'm begging for the Steelers just this one time, Steelers. I know I really don't like you, but for this one time, beat the Bengals, please. That's all I ask for you. And, so, um, I don't really think this is going to be the greatest game, but I don't think it's going to be a blowout either. I think the Steelers are going to hang in there. I think Le'Veon Bell is still holding on. I don't know, but I'm telling you, they don't really need to worry about that. Because James Conner is good. He's really good, I would say. Probably not as good as Le'Veon Bell, but Le'Veon Bell is a little bit overrated. And James Conner is, I think, a little underrated. And I think he's pretty good. In Cincinnati, though, so I'm going to have to go with the Bengals here. 27-17. to Next game, guys, we got the 5-0 and Rams at the 2-3 and Broncos. Rams are absolutely amazing this year. Absolutely amazing. I don't want to jinx anything for them, but they have looked terrific. Uh, Jared Goff just tearing everything up. Todd Gurley, Robert Woods, all my fantasy players who are on the Rams. And yeah, in Denver, but I think the Rams will eat this one out. Um, 21, no, 22 to 17. Next game, guys, we got the 3-2 and two Jaguars at the 2-3 and three Cowboys. Cowboys haven't exactly looked that good. Jaguars have looked pretty good. 3-2, and two, that's decent. Uh, I think the Jaguars are going to eat this one out. I mean, it seems like I've been saying that a lot, but I'm going to go Jaguars here 24-21. to 21. And here we go, guys. Next game, we got the 3 and 2 Ravens. This is at 425, by the way, Eastern. But, anyways, we got the 3 and 2 Ravens at the 3 and 2 Titans. First and foremost, I'd be willing to argue that this is the game of the week. First of all, both teams are 3 and 2. That's one. And second, they're just, they both looked pretty good, not great. But not bad. So this is going to be a really good game. A lot of people are saying that it's going to be... So that's just my family talking in the background again. But anyways, a lot of people are saying that this is going to be like a slugfest, a low-scoring game, a sloppy one. And a lot of people are saying that the Ravens are going to pull it out in just a sloppy game. And then a couple of people think the Titans are going to pull it out in a sloppy game, like 16-13. to 13. That's what a lot of people think the Ravens are going to win 16-13. But anyways, I don't agree with that. I don't see... I think it's going to be high scoring. I mean, I know I said that last time, and the Browns game was 9. It was 12-9. to 9. Could not be more of a slugfest and a sloppy game. But anyways, um, 3-2 and at 3-2. and It is in Tennessee, but... I don't see the Ravens' defense stopping Marcus Mariota and Derrick Henry and all of that. But at the same time, I don't see the Titans' defense stopping Joe Flacco, especially to the start of the Flacco's off. You don't want to jinx any, don't want to jinx anything here. But he has been off to a good start. I th- I think it's gonna be a high-scoring game. I think it's gonna be a great game. I think it's gonna be a fun game. But I do have to go with the Titans here, thirty-eight to thirty-five in overtime again. I think it's gonna be back to back. And next game, this could be the game of the week, too. Sunday Night Football, we got the 5-0 and Chiefs at the 3-2 and Patriots. What a game this is going to be at Gillette. If it was a Kansas City, I'd give the Chiefs all the way. 
but it's not. <laughs> it's in, um, of course, New England, Gillette. Um, I don't really know what to do here. This is going to be such a good game. The Chiefs have looked really good so far, but at the same time, I they got off to like a 5-0 start, maybe even a 6-0 start last year. And they still went 10-6. I mean, they made the playoffs, but then they lost to, the, I think, the Titans and the Wild Card. But anyways, um, I'll give them some credit. I mean, last year they were decent, but they really fl kind of flamed out in the end. But this year they have a rhythm, and they been look and they looked aw um awesome. Don't want to jinx anything for them. Patriots. I mean, the thing about the Patriots is. They're only 3-2, and two, but they always tend to get off to a little bit of a slow start. Then they always make it to the playoffs, and they always find a way to win, and they always make it to the Super Bowl and stuff because they're the Patriots. Uh, I really don't like the Patriots. I think you guys can really can tell. I think you can tell that uh, I really don't like the Patriots. But anyways, guys, at Gillette, I do have to go with the Patriots here. 27 to 24, but what a game it's going to be, man. And next game, this is Monday Night Football on my birthday. We got the 1 and 4 49ers at the 2 and 2 and 1 Packers. So, yeah, like I said, the Packers are playing on my birthday this year in Green Bay. Uh, Niners are just really washed up. They lost their starting QB, Jimmy Garopp. I mean, no, they lost their starting QB. Jimmy Garoppolo is done for the season with a torn ACL. Yeah, that, that's a few weeks old. But anyways, in Green Bay as well, I'm gonna, I think Aaron Rodgers and the Packers are going to have a bounce-back game. And I'm going to go Packers here, 27-13. to And, guys, that is going to do it for my game picks. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to drop a like in the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and I'm out. Peace out. Have a great day. I will see you tomorrow for my follow-up video and thank you guys so much for watching.